I know, I know. But I really, truly had bought into this fairy tale narrative, right? I mean, that was what I believed would happen. That's what I wanted, or, or what I thought I wanted. I think that young girls are so easily molded by society's expectations of them, especially when it comes to romantic relationships. And when I was a kid, I very much fit into this more traditional American girl next door, modern day damsel bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's what I wanted. And so when it came time for me to dip my toe into the pool of uh, dating and romantic relationships, I was like a lamb going to slaughter. Um, I had no defenses. I also had no boobs, which only complicated the matter further. I mean, up until my junior year of high school, I looked like a prepubescent board of wood, just flat in all directions. You think I'm kidding, I'm not. It was like a real problem. But so, dating and relationships, it was, it was a world that was entirely beyond my level of comprehension. But like so many teenage girls, I fantasized about it constantly, right? I wanted a boyfriend. Why? Because that's what we were supposed to want. You know, you were supposed to meet a man, meet a boy, right? Fall in love and, and live happily ever, or at least get asked to prom, right? So because I built this fantasy up in my head, I was practically tripping over myself to find a boyfriend. And you know what they say, when you trip, you fall. And I fell hard. <laughs> Dear diary, today I saw a boy, and I wondered if he noticed me. He took my breath away. Dear diary, I can't get him off. many crushes, one or two dates, and one or two serious boyfriends while I was in high school. The boyfriends conveniently made their appearance around the times my boobs finally decided to show up. <laughs> Is anyone surprised? No. But see, even then, my relationship with American politics had already sort of started, right? Um, he was that brooding, intelligent, really cool older guy who like, hung out with some of my older friends and family. I'd seen him around a lot. Even in high school, he was inescapable. Yeah, but like, like all teenage girls, I, I wanted to feel special. So in my mind, we like always sort of have this connection, you know? <laughs> Dear diary, <laughs> today I saw that boy. As he walked by, I thought he smiled at me. Notice me. I mean, I joined the debate team. I started disagreeing with my parents at the dinner table. I went to protest outside the White House. I mean, anything that I thought would impress him. God, I was so in love with him. But like most of my crushes, I never knew if he felt the same way about me, right? Like, did he like me back or was I just that like cute little girl? I was too much of a kid for him. You know, was he flirting with me or was he just being polite? You know, I, it was so confusing, but I couldn't ask. Right? Oh my god, no, because like, what if he rejected me? I would have died from embarrassment. Should I tell him how I feel? Of what that scared him away? Daddy, tell me what to do. Please tell me what to say. Slowly, I, uh, I started picking up on the signs that he might be into me too. Of course, well, nothing could happen until I turned 18. Ooh, girl! <laughs> Dear diary, <laughs> one touch of his hand. Now I can't wait to see that boy again. He
got a feeling.